Hi, my name's Ethna. I'm a climber and a yoga teacher, and I'm here today at the Depot Climbing Centre in Manchester to run through some yoga for rock climbers that you can join in with at home. So yoga can really aid our climbing. It's going to help us improve overall strength and flexibility, core stability and balance. We're going to work some opposing muscle action so we balance out training. That's going to help us stay injury free. And we're also going to connect to our breath so we start to move more efficiently and stay calm, which we all know when we're out on the rock is really important. So there's six sessions in the series. It's up to you. You can do one as part of your training session. You can do all six for a whole hour's practice. Or you can mix and match. So you can do the warm up and the core and then the cool down. Um, so I'm here today with John and Amy, both strong climbers who use yoga as part of their training. And they're going to help me run through the sessions and demonstrate for you guys at home. Okay, so this is the warm-up session and you can use it to warm up for the rest of the yoga practice or to warm up for your climbing session at the wall. Uh, so we're going to start down on the mat, we'll bring our hands and knees down. Make sure the wrists are right underneath your shoulders, arms are long, knees are right underneath your hips and the whole back is nice and straight. As we inhale, we're going to lift the tailbone, drop the belly down, draw the shoulders back and look forward. As we exhale, we're going to lift the belly button, drop the tailbone, drop the head. Inhale, drop the belly button down, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, lift the belly, drop the tailbone and the head. One more time. Inhale, coming forwards to that arch shape. Exhale, coming back to the curve. Stay in the curve. Really press the ground away and as you inhale, try to open the back of the rib cage towards the ceiling. And then coming back to the, the flat back position. We'll open the forearms a little, so we're going to walk the fingertips around the corner, just going an inch at a time. And if you climb a lot, you might already feel a bit of opening here with the heels of the hands facing. Or you might be able to go a little bit further if you're a little bit more open, bring the heels of the hands all the way forwards. We're going to close our eyes and just hone in on where you feel that opening sensation. So it can just be gentle. You might want to shift the weight back just a millimetre or so. Take an inhale and then exhale, releasing the hands one at a time. We're going to walk them back towards the front of the mat. We'll take the knees as wide as the mat, bring the big toes to touch, sit the bum back down on the heels, reach the hands far away from you and drop the forehead down. And if you want to just inch the hands forwards, we can start to stretch out down through the armpits and into the lats. And at the same time, we're gonna let the hips sink right back onto the heels. So the pelvis is broad and heavy. Come back to that nice steady breath. In and out through the nose. And then with your next inhale, we're coming back to our tabletop. So lifting the torso, bring the hands back underneath the shoulders, bring the knees back underneath the hips. And now make sure your index finger is pointing forwards. Press all the knuckles into the ground so we share the weight. Tuck the toes underneath behind. We're just going to lift the knees an inch from the mat and just hover there. Feel how the core connects. And we're coming back to our downward dog. So lift the hips up and back towards the ceiling. We can walk the dog if we want. So bent knees, we're going to lift one knee, lift the heel and then pad to the other side. So just stepping through the feet. And then finding stillness with the legs, we're gonna walk the hands back towards the feet. So taking little steps and spreading the hands wide, warming up the arm and the shoulder, bend the knees, let the torso drop down towards the legs. Take hold of the opposite elbow and let the head fall through that space. If it feels good, you can take a little sway, letting the pelvis and the lower back just release only if that feels right for your body. We're going to bring two hands down onto the mat again and then we're going to walk back to our downward dog. So spreading the hands, reaching them far away from you, lifting the hips up and back. So we're trying to create a long line from the wrist to the hips, sending the sitting bones up into the air and drawing the shoulder blades down away from the ears. Nice. Bending the knees, we're going to take little baby steps in towards the hands this time. And we'll come to our fold at the front of the mat. Inhale for your flat back, reach the crown of the head forwards, hands come onto the shins, and we're really trying to lengthen the lower back here so we're really long. Folding forwards again. Inhale all the way to standing, hands reach out to the sides, follow the thumbs to the ceiling, and bring the hands down just in front of the heart. We're gonna bring the palms to face forward, so sweeping the arms overhead, draw the shoulders down, palms face the ceiling, Bring the hands together and then bring them down the center. Nice, we'll do that one more time. Inhale, draw the shoulders down, lift the palms, hands come together. Exhale, hands come to heart, we'll hinge forward. So bringing a whole long back down to our fold. 
Inhale, flat back position. And exhale, fold forwards. Press the hands flat to the mat, step back to the top of a push-up. Reach the heels away, lift the belly button up towards the spine, and then bring the knees down, bring the elbows in, lower the chest. Come onto the top of the feet, we'll draw the shoulders back, press the ground away, reach your sternum forwards. Tuck the toes underneath. We're coming through our knees, back to our downward facing dog. So remember, knees can be soft for as long as you need to in the downward dog. Here we'll inhale, reach the right heel up towards the ceiling. Exhaling, bringing the knee to touch the nose. Inhale, lifting up and back. Exhale, knee comes to the nose. Inhale, lifting up and back. Exhale, knee comes forwards. Hover here, lift everything high away from the ground. Lift the belly button up towards the spine. And we're going to place our right foot in between our hands at the front of the mat. So let the pelvis sink nice and low, front knee over the front ankle. Reach your left heel far away from you. We're coming to our crescent lunge, so lift the shoulders over the hips. We'll reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen the torso. We're going to bring the hands down behind us without popping the ribcage forwards. Bring the hands out in front. We're going to circle the wrist outwards three times and then inwards three times. We're just warming up the wrist joint. Make a fist with the hands, interlace the fingers. Press that forwards and let the upper back round. We'll take a big breath in, opening between the shoulder blades, and then come back to neutral, drop the hands back down to the mat again. Step back to your plank shape. Inhale, we're lowering in one long line this time, elbows in. Coming to our cobra again, so drawing the shoulders back, making sure we're really trying to open across the chest there. And then lowering, we'll tuck our toes underneath and come back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left heel this time. Exhale, knee comes to touch your nose. Inhale, lift it up and back. Exhale, knee comes forwards. Inhale, lift it up and back. Exhale, bring that knee in. Hover everything here, lift high away from the ground, and then create space to put that left foot down at the front of the mat. Reach the right heel away. And knee is over the ankle. We're gonna lift our shoulders over our hips. Reach the fingertips for the ceiling, lengthen the back. And then bringing the hands down behind as we're just opening across the pecs. Bring the hands out in front, palms face down. We're gonna close and open 10 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Palms up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Interlace your fingers, press the hands away. We're gonna reach forwards around the upper back, let the head drop down. Again, inhale, fill the back of the rib cage and exhale, come back to neutral. Bring the hands down to the mat. Step back, top of a push-up. Inhale here. We're gonna lower halfway down, so come to the elbows at 90 degrees. Inhale again, and then lower all the way to the mat. Top of the feet, last cobra, draw the shoulders back, reach the heart forwards, head lift, and then tuck the toes underneath, coming back to your downward facing dog. Really nice, so really lengthening the torso, both sides of the waist and the rib cage are long. And you might be able to start to drop the heels gently down towards the floor. We're going to take little steps in towards the feet again. And we're just going to let everything hang in that fold at the front of the mat. Shuffling the feet a little bit wider than the hips. We're going to reach our hands up and back and interlace the fingers behind us. Press the hands away, so see if you can lengthen the arms there, drawing the shoulder blades together. You might be able to flop down and let the hands fall overhead. And then really let the back of the neck relax, let the shoulders just hang in the joint. Just releasing there, across the front of the shoulder girdle. And then release the hands down to the mat. We're gonna roll ourselves up to standing. So bend the knees, tuck the tailbone underneath, one vertebrae at a time. We're rolling all the way back up again. And that's the warm up. So I hope you've enjoyed the session. If you're carrying straight onto another one, then enjoy. And remember, you can keep coming back to these as many times as you like. Keep improving, keep getting stronger, and keep aiding your climbing. Thank you so much for joining me.